Hi, today we're going to see how to create mandalas in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to file, new. The image width is 1920 in the height is 1080, press OK. And now press minus on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer, so click on this icon, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now select the ellipse selection tool, make sure to check the expand from center and then fixed. And now I'm just going to create a circle, this one here, press enter. And now I'm just going to fill it with black. You can fill it with any color you want. And now let's remove the selection. So go to select, none. And now I'm going to crop this layer to the circle here to its content. So go to layer, crop to content. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer, the circle layer. And now I'm going to hide the background layer. For the top layer we created here, we duplicated, right click on it, and then go to composite mode, and then intersection. This will make the pixels of the top layer intersect with the bottom one. So if I select the move tool, make sure you're on the top layer. Keep the control key down here while moving the layer to move it on the same side. Here, as you can see, it will look like as if we are reducing the size here of the shape here, but it's just that. The composite mode here we did so right click if you go to composite mode and then auto so here are our two layers so let's go back right click composite mode and then intersection and now here make sure to use only the two layers here you want to interact if you use for example if i use the background layer so here as you can see it won't work so make sure to hide this one and now i'm going to merge these two circles here so click on icon. So here we have our shape, and now let's show our background layer again. So here it is. And now let's make selection from our shape here. So right click, alpha to selection. And now I'm going to select the gradient tool, make sure the gradient here is linear. And the shape and the gradient here is FG to BG RGB, foreground to background RGB. And now I'm going to change the foreground color to this color. The HTML notation is B80C63, press OK. And for the background color, I'm going to select this purple color here. The HTML notation is 9709B9, press OK. And now I'm just going to trace my gradient here on the shape here. So here like this, and I'll press Enter on the black shape here. It's OK, we didn't create a new layer. So here it is, and now let's remove selection. Go. So before removing selection, Control C to copy the pixel. So here, copy the pixel to the clipboard. And now you can remove selection, go to select, none. So now we'll be able to use this shape here as a brush. Now, if I hide this layer here with the shape, create a new transparent layer. So here it is, fill to transparency and then press OK. If you select the brush tool, so here it is, you will find it in the first place here. Can see the clipboard image and i'm going to increase force here sorry so for example if i left click so here it is and now control z to undo so now we're on our new transparent layer and now and now go to the dialog box here so here as you can see this is the symmetry painting so let's for example if i close it so here it is if you want to show it again click on this little arrow here and then go to add tab and here you have a list of the tabs here and then here just go to symmetry painting so this one here with the but with the butterfly sorry so here it is and now left click on the symmetry here you have mirror tiling we want mandala and here these two here this one and this one will control the horizontal lines here and the vertical the vertical lines and the horizontal line so here I won't touch it. So this is the num for the number of points. It will control the number of repetitions here of the of the brush you're going to. So if I left click, so I want to left click here. So here it is. It created 22 copies here. And now I don't need the symmetry painting anymore. So I'm just going to disable it. So here click on none. And now I'm just going. So for example, you can still if I keep the mandala here the so it's the same setting so you can st i can still create a mandala art here like this just like this but for me i'm not going to use this one here so Control z to undo so here 
and I'm going to hide it, none. And I'm going to select the recursive transform tool, so go to filters, map, and then here, recursive transform. So here I'm going to increase the number of iterations or copies. So I'm going to increase to 10. The first iteration is going to remove the first copy here. I'm just going to keep it in zero. And now here, keep the control key down and shift key down here while scaling from this handle here. This is the scale tool here. So here I'm going to keep the control key and shift key down and then let's scale it down. So here it is. And now in order to rotate, so if you select inside here, it's the move tool. So here's the icon of the move tool here. This is it. So here it is, the my mouse pointer here changed to the move tool. If you go over the square here, outside the square here, it changes to the rotation tool. So here it is. And now I'm just going to rotate here this layer. So here like this. So here and now you can still decrease the size, so keep the shift key and control key down. And then left click here and then just scale it down. So here like this. So here it is. Now, for example, I'm going to leave it here. I like the effect, so press OK. So here it is, and now right click new from visible. So here it is. That's how you can create mandala art in game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.